Hey everybody, this is a short follow-up video. I thought a video would be more beneficial to you for the newsletter to explain what I spoke about last week because it's pretty fundamental to having an effortless and efficient golf swing. So what the general context was just understanding about weight transference because we hear a lot about that in the golf swing. Most students always ask me about it and most of the issues that I see with their play comes from small misunderstanding. So I have, I talked about the, uh, your balance or your center of mass is the technical description. You think about the center of your body, when we get into a golf setup, we've got our balance and it's usually if we started off with 50-50, sometimes in wedge shots, or iron shots, we might go a few percent to the lead foot, the left foot, if you were right-handed, and maybe even drivers, we might come back a little bit, but very small um, personalization of the basic 50-50. Where I see the mistakes made is people shift their weight to their back foot. What this does is almost destabilize your midsection and your upper body. So the natural movement of the down through swing isn't as is easy to get off this loaded foot or the hip, and usually it ends up starting here somewhere. What we're really looking for, more natural flowing movement. So if we thought about, if we picked up a ball and went to throw, you already saw that I'm moving more from here. I don't try and sway back and then have to row it's more I'm going to stay in the middle and, and move from here so not a sway how does that look in the golf swing there's our middle okay I'm going to turn around the golf ball because of the rotational movement I feel pressure here but not a shift of my weight or mass so I'll rotate around the middle and then the pressure because of the rotation is felt here before I finish the backswing, I start pushing more pressure into this side because that's where I am going. So we can either sway from here because in a bid, players that I come across are trying to get their weight back. That blocks off any rotation, which means we usually come up the wrong way through down the ball, or players try and get behind like this, again, makes rotation very difficult here. And what I've done, my head swayed off. So now to try and coordinate my chest and my pelvis and my legs through the ball becomes a very haphazard, almost jerky movement. So to make life easier for you, keep both the pressure here. So this is one of my favorite learning or reminding movements, tapping like this, turn around the golf ball and then to start the swing you can stamp and move through so just to recap I'm doing a, a turn around the golf ball reducing sway because the misunderstanding about weight transference what we're talking about is rotation and a pressure to the right foot and then the pressure back to the lead foot that's going to make life a lot easier for you when it comes to the line of the swing and also the natural power that you can start gaining by not transferring your weight which is really a sway instead of twisting around the ball and feeling that the pressure through your sides because of the twist in the goal swing. I hope that makes it a little easy. You might want to watch this video two or three times over, but as a recap to last week's newsletter, I thought it'd be handy to talk about this to you. And what it does is just lay the foundation. We're in winter, we can do a lot of this work at home and get ourselves prepared as well as keep ourselves stimulated through this lockdown phase and get ready for when golf returns. Okay, so I wish you all the best. Stay in touch. See you soon.